latest trends, COVID variants and cases are on the rise in this state. The newest vaccine, Novavax, can help reduce severe illness. Joining me to explain all of this is Dr. Ulysses Wu, Chief Epidemiologist at Hartford Healthcare. Welcome, doctor. Thank you for having me again. All right, why do we tend to see a rise in COVID cases this time of year? And is it worse this summer than last summer at this time? So the reason why we tend to see this is because uh, the the world is broken into different hemispheres. And so think about it like influenza. Our influenza season is during the winter. Their influenza season is during the winter. Um, but the, it, their winter is about six months apart from our winter. And so what you see circulating in the Southern Hemisphere is something that you would certainly start to see circulating in the Northern Hemisphere about six months apart. That's just one of the reasons, but that's one of the main reasons. And so you have these circulating variants that are happening in other parts of the world. Long story short, we start seeing them on our shores uh, as well. And we're, we're, we're not quite exactly where we would see a normal summer surge, which usually actually happens to, um, tends to happen a little bit later. It's a little bit earlier, not quite as much, but it could still get there. All right, what are the latest variants and how are we, how do we protect against them? Yeah, so the best way, uh, well, we'll get to protection in a little bit, but the, the current variants, they're all part of what we call the Omicron lineage. The Omicron started probably somewhere around November 2021, and these sub-lineages uh, have occurred. And you've heard different alphabet soup uh, references to some of these lineages. Right now, uh, JN1, well, I shouldn't say right now, but JN1, JN.1 or dot one was really the biggest. Um, and that's just really kind of a, a sub lineage of what we saw much earlier. But what's circulating right now is what we call KP3, KP3.1.1. Again, alphabet soup, not much that uh, the, the direct consumer would need to actually know about this, but, and I use consumer in quotes, obviously, but the people that would be affected, um, these variants probably make up greater than 50% of all the variants that are out out there. But there are other variants that are out there, KP2, KP2 uh, or LB1. And so again, alphabet soup, nobody really needs to know the difference from each of them, just knowing that each of these variants are contributing to the summer surge. All right, the latest vaccine, Novavax, how does it differ from other COVID vaccines? So all vaccines are basically the same in the sense that they produce something uh, in your body that stimulates an immune response. And the difference with Novavax is that it's a recombinant protein vaccine uh, that is a little bit different from the mRNA vaccines that we would typically associate with the other companies. But it's still basic premise is still the same in terms of stimulating an immune response. And I should make note that there is no live virus, and that's one of the common misperceptions that are out there. There's no live COVID virus in any of these vaccines. And it's certainly available out there for those who may not be able to get any of the other vaccines. All right, bottom line, get boosted. Well, yes, you certainly should. And I should say, and you had asked that question before, definitely get boosted. But also, if you're sick, try not to get other people sick. If you're in a congregate setting where uh, people may be sick, wearing a mask actually still helps. All right, doctor, thanks so much. Have a good day. Thank you for having me.